Red Time here, and welcome back to our side quest parts of God of War Ragnarok. <laughs> we're picking up where we left off last episode, where we've just completed Alpine, but now we're heading into the desert. I'm believing to. Atreus heard a creature in pain in the creature. desert. Over a storm like this, most impressive. You know Alpine pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I. Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. So I hope Stuff you got your comfy pants on. Ears to keep the sand out. And I hope you're Don't ready. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Because monster in the desert needs a saving. <laughs> Surprised to see you out here, Sindri. You must hate the sand. Oh, it is the worst. <laughs> but with Brock banned from Alfheim, it's up to me to keep you ship shape and sharp. So why is Brock banned from Alfheim? Oh, that's, um, I don't know if, well, do you know what a juicy nokin is? No. Well, thanks to Brock, the elves sure do. Uh, what is a juicy no. no. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was having an idea that it was probably something, um, rude. And I was just thinking, it was just a no-no subject in, um... Okay, no, I, that was a picked up in the recording. My computer just went off. Um... Yeah, I can't think what I was trying to say. I thought it was a no-no subject, and I was like, no! And then <laughs> Kratos is already on it. Well, let's see if we have anything that we can... Up <gasps> we can upgrade the Leviathan Axe. 25 to 40. This axe just keeps getting stronger. This axe is a beast. But I really wish you would give my uh, Blades of Chaos a little bit uh, more love. Because I love them. And it hurts my feelings that they just I just feel like they're not as loved. I don't think I can upgrade. I'll have to remember to uh, go back to my lovely birds and see if they offer me any more gear. Which, I hope. <laughs> I hope. Oh, a special item. Special item. Need that. Right. In that case, let's go stick on the secrets of the sand. Track that. Uh, I have XP. I have XP. Oh! Hey, look at this bad boy. I have XP. Uh, slightly increases the damage of the skill. Mm, why not? It's like my starting attack, though, isn't it? So, might as well. Or this. Oh! What are the new ones? So let's do Frost Awakening to throw. Oh, I'm Frost Awakening to throw. Right. Okay. Then if Frost is full, I will always forget to do that. How do I know if Permafrost is full? Increase the duration of Vengeful Sickle. Ooh. Oh, that'll be. That would be fun. The heck was that? Was that you? Well, I'll find out in editing if Pennywise was always facing forward. <laughs> I don't think he was. Um, I think for the minute, I'll grab this one because this is the last one of level two. I don't know what that noise was. It is afflicted with a trace of sonic state. It creates bigger reverberations. But okay. <laughs> I didn't need to think twice. Okay. Let's go do the side quest of trace. Oh, low marker. Hmm. What in the duck was that? 
two glutton sit sorry gl ugh, not glutton Gulon sit in front of this marker that says unnatural their tags were sled and completely calm strange how long have they been sat here they're just as well behaved as specking Svana who I still need to know how we got off and and Fenrir uh uh, the duck. What are these animals? Gulon, native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. Native to, to Vanaheim. Well, considering they put these in, does that mean we're going to Vanaheim? <laughs> Someone trained them to pull a sled. Lucky for us. Domesticated <laughs> Gulon. Most unusual. Oh, the. Barrels, I didn't realise it was barrels. It's like being on a boat. Can I get off them? Yay! Chest. I kind of appreciate this. They don't expect us just to wander around the desert on foot aimlessly. Because I would have. Slag deposits. Any particular direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? I can't hear anything out here. What? Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings. What? I couldn't hear any of that. <laughs> I'm all oh, funny. Oh. Attempting treasure chest. Oh. Damn the sand. That's called rude. This is going to be hard to uh, navigate. What is that chest? Ah! There we go. Oh, it's just hacked over. He said there's a cave entrance. Yeah, he said find the cave. So I I I don't keep meaning run. I'm just trying to turn these around. Let's find this cave. Oh, this could actually be where we were meant to go. Um, we can explore in a bit. If this is actually the way forward, we the can explore in a bit. The cave extends underneath the desert. Is the creature within? Yeah, sounds like it. We'll find it if we keep going. What is this place? A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple. <sighs> Great. Oh! It's fine. We'll use the blades on them this time. Oh, I have to do the X anyway. Great. Do that. <laughs> but I'm glad I did. Behind you, incoming. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Rushing cat. Oh, okay. Rushing. Oh, 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 oh. It is gonna make us axe this out. Oh, I had it then. <laughs> That's cool. Right Oh my god. Is that what makes you die? Thank you. Oh, 
Oh, kill Dark Elves. Okay. In order to complete those. I didn't know those were things. I don't think we picked anything like that up on killing Grim. Ooh, shiver. I need to, I really thought I was getting alright at fighting. Apparently I'm just getting shocking. Yeah. Hello! Yeah. Oh, he was running at me! No. <laughs> I thought me, you know, stabbing him in the face. In the face. <laughs> It was legit in the face was going to slow that mother trucker down apparently he thought otherwise oh you stabbed me in the face i come at you <laughs> at least we're full health this time Uh oh. It was him again. Ooh, he came in that place. Damn. <laughs> we did each other. the dark elves i wish we didn't have to fight them they attack us well this is their home and considering what happened the last time we were in alpha can Ooh. you really blame them that <laughs> what i think maybe i can get those from up here <sighs> Atreus, don't get too far ahead of yourself, dude. Maybe? <laughs> the heck was that? <laughs> Patience. A virtue or a threat? Depends on the reader. Oh, we got bronze on that. I didn't want that. It's not a law marker, is it? Red rains? Patience. Found deep in the dark elf cave, they must use these as outposts to launch their raids on the, on the temple. A useful spot to watch their enemy and plan their next assault. Patience is a virtue. <gasps> Dwarven steel! <laughs> Yes! What we want, what we need. Oh, I don't need that. Um, I don't know where the chest is, so I'm not ringing that just yet. It's gonna be hard to navigate that desert after this, isn't it? The creature you heard. What does it say now? It's not always like that. Some animals are just. I feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is, it's in a lot of pain. I 
accuracy. Oh. Why do you ask? I am curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. Okay. <laughs> okay. Damn. <laughs> that was unexpected. Oh. Can I do it from there? Do I need to be somewhere else to do that? Kill wretches. Oh! It's only a chest. I want to see if I could do that. Oh, 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 I had it. I need to know where the last Nornia chest is. The Nornia piece is. And I'm not going to be entirely sure how to do that. Watch out! The wretch is going to explode! <laughs> Did you kill it? I'm curious about where that all the bell is. There it is. I saw like the little blue light, the little blue tinge to it. Right, how am I gonna get that? How am I gonna get any of them? Annoying. I wonder if I need to go a little bit further on. I've never been this interested before. When I talk to hmm? animals or enchanted rings or whatever. Much has changed oh. for both of us. And Vali. Well, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why you've helped some random animal. Is this not Animals are cute. Want? No, no, it, it is. I'm just surprised it's what you want too. Animals are cute. What is your problem? Oh. <laughs> I got really angry there. Animals are cute. Shut up, Atreus. Oh, I can open it from this side. Ah. Can I open the other one from this side? Oh, I can. Now, this is going to be a challenge to do it in like quick succession. I'm going to need to get down from there relatively quick. was not quick unless that R just had like N R N N N N N N had an I an apple unless that N had like a, a, a longish timer which I find weird is it up here yeah is that the way forward this doesn't look like a dangerous cavern area at all uh, is that the king? He's back! Oh, oh! I did that. Oh, I'm 
gonna die. On your left. I don't want to be targeting this guy. Ow! I am dead, Atreus. Like there is no coming back from any of this. Don't heal me. Just let me die. That was ridiculous. This is a fine man. It was manageable, and then everybody just fell out of the sky and thought it'd be fun to kill me. Jackasses. doing the right thing if you wish to abandon this creature we will leave well no i don't want to abandon it but if we have to kill a bunch of dark elves to get there 
I remember a young lad whom, until this very moment, would take on an army of Draugr to save a wounded animal. But these aren't undead Draugr. They're elves. I just want to make sure They're we're assholes. not repeating the same mistakes. Getting involved where we shouldn't. Don't listen to Tia. Also, what you just missed was 20 minutes of me getting very riled by a bunch of elves that would not leave me alone for three seconds. Seriously. <laughs> I am not including that because it was peeving me something crazy and I was making stupid mistakes. But that elf, swear to god I'll hunt down his dead body or his dead soul and I'll kill him again. I will kill him again. He will never find happiness in the afterlife. <laughs> I'm not petty or anything but that elf, oh, <laughs> I was happy, he was, well he wasn't the same elf but I was almost happy that he was alive and now I hope there's nothing but sadness in his in his stupid elf life. <laughs> oh shoot! You okay? <laughs> yeah, that elf made me mad, <laughs> and he deserves nothing but unhappiness now. <laughs> and that like that little whiny moment. I achieved a lot. <laughs> Seriously, I've been sat like that. <laughs> Getting angry over an elf. Stupid elf. Nobody loves him. Especially me. These things smell awful. Yeah, they're wretches, aren't they? And it's a kind of wretched smell. <laughs> Why did that? Well, that was madly did I don't know how to do this. Um. If I do it this way, uh, look at me being a smart ass. It's just okay, back and go this way. feel like no matter what we do in Alfheim, we wind up hurting Dark Elves. We are down here to help the creature you hurt. I know that, but I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Because you care? you're not telling me? You no. care? Okay. You care so I care? <coughs> Kevin is shivering. I assume it's that way. I don't know how to hit that now. Do I need to How am I meant to do this? That's definitely the wrong way.
I believe I need to bounce it on off that. That was semi-handled. Is there anything over there that I could have made? No. That was semi-handled. Whatever this animal is, it better be freaking awesome. Hello? Where? Uh. Labor complete. Freezing throw. Is that all of them? Oh, no, it's not. Tracer, Tracer, Tracer! <laughs> There's one! Will you guys just go back? Is there such thing as a, a, a nightmare nest? Oh, we're back in the desert. Where have we found the animal? Or is it up here? Better be a freaking good animal. Like I am expecting, like a massive tassel worm, or you know, like a snake, or something really freaking awesome. Oh, what is that? Found it. It's a jellyfish. We came here for a jellyfish. That's the largest bloody half gaffa I've ever laid eyes on. It's not just half gaffa. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. They don't what? normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry. Oh. We'll get you out. Why is everything is named after dinner? Well, the last good thing we saw was dinner, so... <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I appreciate Night, uh... the attempt at humor. That little brother <laughs> is truly awful worthy. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, and I'll be winners. <laughs> um, that didn't work. Um, seriously, why is everything named after food? Dinner, lunch, There's really graduate. That was not food. <laughs> Get a better angle. I didn't know there were rocks. It's another one of these ones, is it? Ah! Yeah, there we go. Oh, is it free? No. It looks like it can move now. That's clever. I still can't get out. Much of the hype matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. But this is free. Free it from the surface. Seeks of the sands open the hive cave from the surface. Okay. I like this thing. Why did they trap it down here? Half gaffers are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the dark elves, any more than the light belongs to the light elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the light elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the dark elves make effective use of it out here in the barrens. So, by clearing out all of this hive, are we hurting dark elves? 
You wish to leave the creature enslaved. No. Then let us free it. Oh, wow. Huh. There, there was mention of half... Half... Guffer... Whispering slab. Half Guffer earlier, wasn't there? Shoulder straps of radiance. What? What? Well, hell yeah! <laughs> wow! I did not read what benefit they were at all. Uh... Oh, these shoulder pads are awesome. Oh, hey, Popos! Where's the hive matter? Oh, it's nowhere near here. <laughs> Hi! Oh, it's my good boys. I'm calling them. Uh, Fern and Dandelion. I could not think of a good name. <laughs> Fern and Dandelion sounds, um, well, dandy. Oh, so it's here. Okay. This is the spot. We can cut the half goofa loose here. Half goofa. I love that. Ooh, that's gross. It flies? Of course it flies. It's a half goofa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye, perhaps we'll oh, finally shoot. earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after oh, all. Oh, shoot. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out oh, here. Oh, my God. You don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? This is beautiful. Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered? He just wants to spend time with you, lad. While he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead, but if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know oh. what to say. Thank you for bringing us out here. I'm glad. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was like a really heartfelt moment and I just disturbed it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that broke my heart a little bit. Um, Because Kratos knows that there's a potential he will die in the future. He just wants to spend time with him. <laughs> we have discovered that the source of the sandstorm in the barrens was a creature Mimir calls the half goofer. I encountered something like this as a boy, but it was much smaller. It was a much smaller sea creature and did not fly. <laughs> Jellyfish. <laughs> now that this storm has subsided, we can explore the desert freely and collect resources. To the west, I can see another sandstorm, likely caused by another half goofer. We should ease this creature's pain when the time is right. Oh, hell yeah. You guys are like my favorite people. I just love you. I love you so much. That's looking interesting. I wasn't crank. <laughs> I just I just had sand in my eye. <laughs> Ironic considering we're in the sand. I need this. I need to kill this. Can you hear it? It's singing. <laughs> I freaking love it. 14 of 18, is that what that said? 14 of 18 Odin beds? <laughs> Don't worry, I've got this rock that I'm gonna throw. Oh, it's you again! Where's the big guy? Come up. On your left. Oh. 
I stomped my feet. <laughs> I stomped my feet like a little girl. <laughs> like a tiny toddler, a tiny angry toddler. <laughs> that was unexpected. <laughs> I really stomped my feet. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. No funny business. These things are gonna die. Take care of one of them. I didn't want to do that. I want to throw at these guys. Take it off, man. You've got this. Move. This guy's dying painfully. I hope you lose your arm. Because I'm not dealing with this again. I'm not doing it again. This thing can just die. Smash his face in violently. That's not what I wanted. I actually wanted to rip his horns off and stab him in the face with them. I'm getting really violent. <laughs> he made me mad. I wanted to What's hurt him. That? I don't Diagram. know. You are sword hilt. Perhaps we should show it. These pages are very old. Could be anywhere. It's like little relics outlined in these diagrams are very powerful. To one of the dwarves. They'll know what to do with it. <laughs> Gauntlets of ra radiance. Shut up, Windows. Gauntlets of radiance. Ah. Oh. No, I, I don't just care about purely just strength. I want all my uh, stuff up. Yeah, I miss those. A horn. We should give it to Tia. <laughs> he, he was um, in Grower's Shrine with one of them after. <laughs> Look here. Tower's purpose. 
Though it is now, though it now serves as a military outpost, this out this tower's architecture indicates a different function in the time before the division of light and dark. I could find no mention within the archives, which is not altogether unusual. Many of the texts within the within have been sanitized across generations, but the very absence of any information is telling, in and of itself. What sacrilegious ceremonies were held <coughs> were held here? Um, so, Imico, Imico, uh, <laughs> to our current status quo, that the, li that the librarians eradicated all mention of this tower's true purpose. I can't help but assume the key, the answer is key to a lasting peace, the console. I'm choking on my own words. <laughs> I am so happy that the half gulfer is just free. Right. Let's go to that next. Or should we leave that till last? Because it looks really cool. What do you think it means? Seeing more raiders come back as Hellwalkers. I thought freeing the Valkyrie Queen was supposed to restore balance to the realms. And keep that from happening. That's a good question, lad. And a troubling one. If hell's filled up again, it suggests that something's been hindering Seagram's efforts. Or perhaps something even more urgent is keeping her distracted and unable to visit. Even occasionally. Yeah. Sorry, Mimir. Looks like a lot of the sand is cleared up. But there's another mm. storm out that way. You think that means... Another half, Gufa. Which way, sorry? I don't see another storm. I just see a really ah! way. You mean in that way? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, we'll have to come back to that when we figure out how to do that thing. Hey, this seems like a good time to try and remember all the terrible stories about Thor and Odin. <laughs> More bloody drops. Whoa! Oh, oh, when she, right, okay, okay, okay. So when she does that, she's on fire. Interesting. Because she's on fire, obviously. <laughs> she, she's gearing herself up to go boom. That, right, right, right. <laughs> smaller space I wonder if it's gonna be like very difficult <gasps> brother I had a thought what if we took a stealthy approach to our next battle no what is wrong Oh, 
Oh, she was ready to go boom. Yep. I don't really like Scotties anymore. <laughs> Tales of a cruel empress, one too angry to die. We will see. An angry empress, one too angry to die. Well, she needs to just die. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from this whole situation. Chaos. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like six through search through form. So that's three we've done so far. Oh, there was a treasure map, wasn't there? Oh, skills. <gasps> I did my throw. I did my throw. Just the damage. Oh, I didn't realize how much XP I had. Grab that. Grab that. Oh, no. Grab that, because why not? What's this one? I probably won't know how to use that. What's this one? I'll try that. What's this one? Oh, oh, I kind of wanted that one. I have no, I, I, yeah. Uh, I'll them. Well, we'll get that. Oh, we'll get, we'll get that as well. So not all dwarves can do that thing Brock and Sindri do, right? Do they just walk between realms and turn up somewhere else? Indeed, that's a rare skill. I gather one carefully cultivated by some secretive dwarven guild or other. Probably for the best. <laughs> Them alone doing it is disconcerting enough. <coughs> oh! <laughs> I love that that is just floating around in the sky. <laughs> Set to the west. West? That's west. West, there's another <gasps> storm somewhere. I can't see no other storm. <laughs> Back to Thor and Odin stories? Where were we? Enough. <laughs> we will continue Not later. yet. Loud ringing in my ears. It still looks like, um, I don't know, the bones or something. Aha. I can play beautifully, you know. I do not. I would prefer it remain that way. <laughs> oh. How to do this. How to do this. Oh. Hello. 
kills. Oh, it a little bit. I think it needs to be a bit higher. That's not going to work. How to do this? I feel like that could be the thing. Shut up. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> I was being the right place. The big dwarf statue we saw. Who was he? All these stone foot. Warden of Spatelfein. Just before. Ooh. Uh, shield strike. Double tap L against that afflicted enemies. Consume the ailment. Causes death. He used his wisdom oh, and really might crap. to imprison some of the most dangerous creatures in all the realm. Like what? The half gopher? The half gopher? <laughs> Cause I ain't dangerous. He's sweet. I love him. Not as much as Radatalska. Uh, I think my list is changing. Radatalska, half gopher, Thor. Something else. Okay. Ravens. What other terrible things have Odin and Thor done? Okay. There was Thalmor, the stonemason. Aye. He quarreled with his son, went into the night to find him, found Thor instead. And there was Thalmor's son, Grimther, who built the walls of Asgard, and whispered something of importance to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband, and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. You can't forget Amir. The first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realm from his body, and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seem dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Though admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir God's dream. What about Jorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were murky at best, but not sure I can blame Odin for that one. Same after. Oh, I know. It was Gavi, the queen of the hunt. Aye, she spurned Odin's affections, so he tricked her into killing her father. There was Starkather the Mighty, the Yotnar military leader. Slandered by Odin, tricked and murdered by Thor. And there Jesus was Thrym the Cunning, the giant king who stole Thor's hammer. Odin traded him fair to get it back. 
then sent Thor in disguise to murder his entire court. Who else? Ah, Brung near the Brawler, the stone giant. Aye, mocked by Odin, murdered by Thor. Enough of this. But there's more. I do not care. War with Odin is not the answer. Damn, my man doing like a lot of murder. <laughs> Thor, not Odin. These rooms. Will we meet Skadi then? Unless if all the giants are dead and then she's a giant, then obviously not. Thanks to the opposition's grotesque hypocrisy, Alpine's Gulon are a threat to our livelihood. <gasps> no, they're not. They're lovely. Though I have called many of on the surface, there are undoubtedly more below in the Dark Elves' hovels. So long as we deny them access to our light, the pair that at the desert's entrance shall remain the only docile version of these foul beasts. Let them remain. They will serve as useful subjects for further light infusion experimentation. Oh, the maven. Screw you, maven. Dandelion and fern are perfect. There's another one of these. This is the fourth one. I think they have the same markings. I, I compared two of them and they certainly did. There's something I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows, all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still falls. Wouldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her lie really make? I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath witches who were keen on destabilizing the government. Hold. We will finish later. Oh, it's another one of these. Uh... Well, how will I do this? Because I'm not going to hit any of them. Maybe it's another one of like in that case. I just need to find the right space to be in. That seemed almost right. Still need to be over this way a little bit. It's too far now. be over this way a little bit but then Expecting that to take a bit longer. Yay! Oh, Yay! <laughs> I never remember to ask here about his travels to the lands beyond the seas. You wish to travel the world? I don't know. Maybe. See new places. Find out more about myself. Hmm. Fair. But you please don't hold Tia in high regard because I feel he's only going to let you down. Like he's, I understand he's been through hell and back, but... As I recall, I was about to relate the story of the Heath Witches, who overthrew a government using only deceptive prophecies. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the thane took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, 
for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. <laughs> With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical or magical. Aye, aye. But twas not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go. The Thane ends up without his head and a name so <laughs> cursed, none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. You really gotta Macbeth. write these stories down one day, my man. <laughs> well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore, but thank you, lad. That was Macbeth! <laughs> oh, wow! That's hilarious! I say hilarious. That's incredible! What? I thought it was a chest over there. Oh. Oh, there's an. Th oh, there's no near. I think he's over there. Ooh. But. Macbeth? That was freaking clever. treasure map i forgot i picked that up right where is this bird i'm hearing it i'm not seeing it does it fly around the top Oh, you little monster. I need to go back and visit them birds. I have three more to go and then I can open two more chests. Alrighty, Roo. Try that. Oh, I did it wrong. about to try that thing where you pull the axe back and slam it down. It is L1 and R2 isn't it? L L1 and R1 even. Oh I'm a little bit disappointed. I was handling that kind of well-ish. I say that I was very far away. Anyway at least I'm getting the Odin bed again. 
Let's try that one more time. dodge backwards and it didn't let me I don't know if it's a case of it didn't let me or if that thing was just too fast but I was spamming it anyway I'm not having the dark elf situation again okay which one your Let me just do a run around. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> 
Very wrong in the last second if I didn't just like cheat. <laughs> Here. Here. Desert of our ignorance. So much of who we are is lost, not just the desiccated Leviathan, oh, nor its ilk, but the very identity of this creature it is knowledge forgotten. Was it a predator? A wraith of the barons to be feared and avoided, or perhaps a gentle behemoth tamed by the pre division elves and farmed for meat. Oh no. The answer is a grain of sand in the desert of our ignorance. Our history remains buried beneath generations of dead elves. Should another manage to rise above our malignant dogma and search for answers, let these bones serve as warning. If nothing changes, we will remain forgotten. The consul. Oh. That's depressing. Thanks, game. <laughs> Unless you make a significant impact, you're going to be forgotten. That's, that's, that's exactly what a person wants to hear. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> Is that a Cavassi poem? You just refuse to pick a favourite poem. That's uncharacteristically indecisive of you. I have a favourite poem already. One from my homeland. I'm curious what that is. A mind-expanding poetic experience constructed by who else but Cavassia. Look around you. Oh God. Turn your head. Guide your metal friend with care. Or else it be dead. Rescue its friends. Experience tension. Immerse yourself in a new dimension. Oh. It's the Astro. Astro's playground. The PlayStation 1. I want to say the VR one. Uh. The, the, the little guys. <laughs> the little guys. The little robot guys. After like eight, I know like three. <laughs> Five? Five. There's three I've not picked up. Belt of radiance. This is not replacing my bird belt. Because it's bad compared to my bird belt. No. <laughs> bird belt is only belt that is necessary and needed. Oh yeah, I don't want Scardies anymore. I feel like that's just hindering me so I'm gonna go back to my Lord Tempest and I'll be able to afford it uh oh hold on hold up hold up wait a minute accessory oh no lethal detonation enemies killed by from a runic arrow explode okay <laughs> I heard explode and I'm, I'm, I'm down Is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. <laughs> I mean... I guess it depends on the circumstance. If it's a case of... You know, you mind your own business soon in the ocean and then a shark tries to eat you. Um, I don't think you're going to be able to kill it. <laughs> that, that was terrible. <laughs> that, did, that doesn't make any matter better. <laughs> it was a case of you swimming in the ocean and a shark tries to kill you. <laughs> um, if you're in a... F no. No, I don't like that one. Um, oh, no. Okay, if right, someone's trying to kill you, right, like, you know... Violent Night, for instance, that is a great movie. You should watch that. Um, somebody breaks into a family's home and is, um, yep, yeah, that's all I'm saying. Uh, it's a case of it's you or them. It's you. You know, it's your home. You protect your home. Um, if it's a case of, you know, 
a tiger in a forest. They're an endangered species. Do not kill them. No kill. Okay. Where's the other one? Oh, it's there. How do I get that? Um. Mir, what's the deal with Odin's ravens? They can just transport him anywhere? Except for the realm between realms, thankfully. Why? Harder to find, thanks to dwarven enchantments and Yggdrasil's very own nature. Hmm. Lucky us. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Hey! But now... How... What do I do? Oh, there's a bomb next to it. Sweet. Blow that bad boy up. Where's the chest? Oh, it's a... <laughs> it was hidden by all the vines, I didn't realize, and the hive matter. Two of three. Boom, baby. Literally. <laughs> Triple wits. Viewing goals. Oh, there's 15 to open. 15 to open. Save. Two. That was an adult. Save. One. Blood mead, one ice and apple. So that'll leave me with 12, which will leave three, which means I'll only have one chest to open after that. Will it be ice and apple or will it be um, right tasks? Anxious. What? Never understood Christmas. There's an anxious ra There's an arrogant Ratatoska. <laughs> I need to do parry more. Have you ever thrown a big piece of ice off something really high up? Oh, shattering enemies. I've never seen any. Bitter. Demolition. Destroy red... Red pot's destroyed. <laughs> what? I am literally one off. <laughs> Hanging looper. Oh, 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 I've not seen those in a while. Chest punch. Nightmare haunts destroyed. What? They do have nests. I need to find another wretch nest. Pot's broken. <laughs> Perfectionist. Hey, I'm doing well. Batter up. Trees? Oh, t throw trees, but to be clear, not our tree. <laughs> death from above. I feel like I've been able to do any death from above. Use the blades on stunned enemies. Oh. Temper tantrum. <laughs> I like that. Oh, okay. Oh, I need to get good, man. Where are my dogs? Fern, dandelion. Good boys. I know those names may probably not be like masculine enough, but these are my boys, and that's their names. They're pretty flowers. 
I've been there. I think I've done this entire place, so... Because there's just a big hole in the middle. Let's have it. You mentioned you had a favourite poem from your homeland. What was it about? A cunning general. The war over forbidden love. I believe I've heard of this one. Did it involve a horse that was not as it appeared? Yes. But that is not what happened. Oh, it's based on truth then. And you were there. Yes. I prefer the poem. Oh. Kratos referred to himself as a horse, didn't he? I believe that is the entire side quest. I believe. Sindri? He has nothing else to say, so I guess that is like the exploration of side quests that was there half the far. So I'm end this side episode here for now. If you've enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button down below. You know I appreciate your support. Make sure to look after yourselves out there. We will find the next half kafir, I'm assuming. They said there was like another desert storm somewhere, so we'll see what happens. And uh, make sure you have a fantastic day, and I shall see you guys in the next episode. See ya.